Hello everybody, this is Ananya and let's have a little bit of fun today using the pillow library with which we will be trying to add a watermark to an image. Now the watermark will be of the text format. For this, you will need the pillow library in case you have issues trying to install it and uh, you just cannot seem to import it and just make sure you try it out with the wheel file also. Let me show you what image I'll be using. So this is just a random image I built from PowerPoint. So what I'm going to do is at the bottom right corner, right out here, I want to add my channel's name. That is, I want to write code Haven here. So this is just a random picture. I do not want to try and indicate anything from this. OK, so let's begin with the code. So from below, Make sure you import it using the name PIL, all in caps. So from PIL, import image, image draw, and image font. We'll firstly open the image. I have saved the image that I just showed you all in the exact directory of my current folder. So I am not giving any exact parts. So into a variable image, I shall open the image using image.open and the file name. I have used JPEG images here. Next, I'll be noting down the width and the height using image.size. We shall next create an object of draw using image draw dot draw and we shall pass in the parameter as image. We shall save it into the object variable named draw. And the text that I want to type in or display rather, as I said, is code haven. That is my channel's name. Next, let's go ahead with a bit of styling. We'll do that using image font dot type. My first parameter here is the actual style that I want, which is a TTFI. I shall give a link down below in the description, which from which you can choose any font that you want, download it and put in the exact path as your first parameter in true type. Next, I've given the font size as 55. Choose whatever you like. Next, what I shall be doing is I'll take the font size 55 and the text itself and using draw dot text size, I shall extract the width and the height of the text. Now I want a margin of 10. That is the right and bottom. Basically all over, I need a margin of 10 so that it doesn't stick to the picture's edges. X and Y will be ex the exact positions. So you can get it using this formula that is width minus text width minus the margin. Similarly for Y, it is height minus text height minus margin. Instead of doing all of this, you could have just simply put in the values of X and Y. But what we are doing here is we are rather generalizing it. So if you would have put the exact values, this would become image specific. And here we are putting in formulas. Hence, you can apply this to any image that you want. Lastly, what we do is we actually place in the text using draw dot text. Firstly, you give the values of the positions that is X and Y. Next, you give the actual text and you put in the font too. Lastly, you uh, give image dot show. And if you want to save the image, you can also do that using image dot save. It'll be saved in the same directory. Now let's give this a run and show you how it actually looked like. OK, so as you can see at the bottom right corner, I do have code Haven written in there. So you can use your imagination, your styling and your colors and have a little bit of a fun time. So there you go. You do have a watermark in your created picture. Hope you like the video. Bye bye.